Hi, this is Tom White from Horizon Productions, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a water reflection. Okay, so this is what we're going for. So as you can see, it's, it's fully animated, it moves about a bit. And so this is literally just a still image. There's that, and then add in the water reflection. Okay, so, first of all, the image. Now you're going to want to go to www.flickr.com and type into the search swimming pool night and hit search okay and then when you've got search up sorry my internet's a bit slow uh, click advanced search scroll down only search within creative commons licensed content and what that basically means is anything you search will be to do with uh, it will be like free from copyright okay and so there's the image and then just go and save it okay so we have the image here here is the image. I click it and make a new composition. So here it is in the new comp. Now, control Y, make a black solid, make comp size, press OK. I'm going to turn it off. And then you're going to go the area that you want to have the reflection in. Just press G to bring up this little uh, cursor. And then draw a shape around where you want it to be. I'll just do this ball, this wall here, okay, and then turn it back on. So it pretty much it doesn't have to be exact because we don't have to worry about that. Okay, and then we go effect, noise and grain, fractal noise. So it's like the uh, smoke text tutorial. Go transform, set the scale down to about ten. Oh, maybe eight. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to go shut that off now. Uh, effect. Blur and sharpen fast blur. We're going to want to set the blur to about 10. Yeah, about 8. And then you'll notice here that it's starting to. as it disappears. So if you click repeat edge pixels, then it doesn't disappear. Basically, around the edges. So set that to about 8. Okay. And effect blur and sharpen CC vector blur. And then take that up until it looks quite watery, so about 10. It, dep it really depends on the size of the image and what size your fractal noise is to how much you need to actually do that. Okay. Uh, what you can do here is then click these bar uh, these lines here and drag them down so it covers the wall because this is what I was saying before about the accuracy. But make sure it doesn't overlap because then it looks retarded. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe drag that down a little bit. Okay, so we've got our basic water reflection. Now, I'm going to go effect, color correction, hue and saturation, tick the colorize box. I set it to about 180 degrees to get a blue color, and then set the color saturation up to about 40 to make it a much brighter blue. Um, and then uh, we'll press F4 if, if this bit hasn't come up already, and set select add. So it looks quite watery now. Press T when the layer selects to bring up opacity and take it down to about 40. Okay, so that is looking quite good. Now the next thing is uh, effect, stylize, glow. And then take the threshold down to about 75. So it only takes, I mean, you can obviously mess about with this to get the effect you want, but I always think 75 looks quite good. Okay, and then at this point you can sort of correct the, correct the various masks, mask shapes and stuff if it's overlapping slightly. Uh, now you'll notice here that it's because of the uh, CC vector blur it's sort of manipulated the image a bit so if you, you can just drag the image and stretch it a bit then that crazy edge disappears. Okay uh, now the next thing is animating this movement I mean for this type of uh, if it was a video of this then the water isn't actually moving, and so you wouldn't really have much need for this. So it would just you probably do it without the vector blur, uh, and then it would be. But if it has waves, if the water has waves in it, then you're going to want this kind of effect. Now to animate it, if it has moving waves, bring up the fractal noise again, and press Alt click on the stopwatch to bring up the expressions. And this is like super complicated. I think it works in like JavaScript or something. Basically, just type time. It's all case sensitive, so don't do capital T time. Time times 
I think 100 is quite good. And basically, like, what that is is like it just animates like it evolves like 100 basically. So if you do 200, then it'll be much quicker because it's it's a bigger number. Uh, and then just hit zero on the number pad for RAM preview. So that will just load here. As you can see, it's going along. And then when you think it's a suitable time, so about now, you press space, and it'll just repeat itself over and over again, so you can see what it looks like. Okay. Uh, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to say. You can mess about if you press T again, and if you don't like the opacity, you can. If it's, I mean, obviously it looks a bit stupid, but you can. So yeah, you can mess about with the opacity. You can have it quite kind of subtle like that. That looks quite good as well. But so yeah, basically that, that's it. I'm Tom White from Horizon Productions.